friends welcome to another game tutorial today i'm going to show you how to use motion blur to an image with gimp so let's get into it so friends as you can see i've got an image here so this image has already been enhanced um, and as you probably can say that uh, this image has been captured with higher shutter speed um, and obviously it's an image with a lot of actions especially the train was moving very fast so this is why this picture has to capture it with higher shutter speed to freeze the action but um, the action in this picture uh, has been slightly missing because the train was moving very fast so what about we add some motion blur in this picture well there are several options you have in game to add motion blur um, to an image so to do that the trick is very simple go to the filters menu here and from the blur and then we have different motion blurs options here um, like circular motion blur linear motion blur and zoom motion blur uh, so for this particular image we are going with zoom motion blur since we don't want to use um, any layer mask for further editing to get it right um, but quickly i'm going to show you how circular motion blur works so that you will have an idea and if you have any different type of image you can use the circular motion blur so when you activate that um, you get this dialog box and you here you can position the focus left or right top and bottom wherever you want and then you can increase or decrease the opacity as you like it might take some time to process Okay, it has been done as I've said circular motion blur is not right for this particular image so I'm just showing you how to do it and now I'm cancelling so that we can try the other ones so now I'm going to the filters menu again blur and then linear motion blur again I'm just showing you how to do it but we are mainly using zoom motion blur for this particular image okay so this is linear here you get the dialog, dialog box and you can change the length and angle as you want i mean you can change the direction of the blurs so we actually can use linear motion blur for this image but in that case we'll have to use layer mask um and we'll have to work further to get everything right and get at least one face on focus otherwise it's all blur and there are other options actually um, uh, you can follow to uh, get things right but as i've said um, to do things easily we are not going to use um, two other motion blurs options available in game so now i am going to use the final one which we want to use for this particular image and that is zoom motion blur okay so now i am going to um, adjust the position of the focus uh, to do that you can use center x and y And then of course you can increase or decrease the blurring factor if you increase it then it will be even blur and if you decrease then the it will be less blur so let's increase slightly and then you also can adjust the opacity as you like and whenever you are happy hit ok so friends as you can see the picture has been changed a lot and now you can see the motion in the picture so probably it's not perfect all the way and one can easily identify the 
uh, enhancement or editing in this picture however it's up to each individual towards how you want to see the picture so friends this is how you can add motion blur to a picture with GIMP. thanks for watching i'll see you next time goodbye